Greetings from Tennessee, everyone. I'm currently here in Knoxville at the SEMA conference. I presented a paper on my research this morning and got to hear really interesting questions and comments from my colleagues. It reminded me a lot of what we actually do during the WEX process in this course, which shows that that kind of process of peer communication and collaboration continues long after courses like English 1110. Anyway, this is a very important week for us, so I wanted to make sure that I checked in right at the beginning, just to be absolutely clear about what you need to do. So, first of all, if you are not happy with the current state of your PSA, you should take this opportunity to review and rewrite it. I really strongly encourage you to do this, since it's so important that you have a strong PSA to serve as a foundation for the remainder of your ARP. If you have problems with your PSA, they're just going to continue throughout the rest of the assignments and create kind of a cascade effect where you never actually do as well as you should. So it's best right at the beginning to go back to your PSA, address any problems with it, and really make sure you have something solid on which you can build. So you have the next week to do those right rewrites, and I strongly, strongly encourage you to do so if you aren't 100% happy with them. Second of all, we've almost wrapped up the second part of the analytical research project. So your annotated bibliographies are going to be coming into me this Tuesday by 11.59 p.m. By now, we should have covered absolutely everything you need to do within them. So we've talked about how you write citations in MLA 8. We've talked about how you write summaries of the source, and you've had a chance to practice that. We've talked about how you do evaluations of the source. So you're going to need to do all of those things in your annotated bibliography. As you're finishing them up, please don't hesitate to contact me about any questions or concerns that you have. I'm very, very happy to work with you individually at this point. And last, we're going to be moving on to the third stage, the secondary source integration this week. You've already had a chance to glance at and preview the secondary source integration, but I'd like to give you time this week to think about it and look at it more deeply. Originally, I was going to do a narrated presentation taking you through the SSI, but I actually thought it would be more useful to see where you were with it, what you understood about it, what your sense of it was. So, I've factored in another discussion post where you're going to look at sample SSIs, compare them to sample PSAs, Think about what's similar and different between them, and then write a paragraph in which you explain exactly what you have to do in the SSI in your own words. After I've seen your responses to that, I'll sit down, record a video, explain precisely what you need to do with the SSI. So it would be a really good chance to ask me questions as well. You can include those questions either at the end of your own explanation of the SSI, or you can use the discussion forum that I've set up specifically for that purpose. So apart from that, though, we're really going to be learning how to push the PSA into the SSI this week. So we're going to spend some time talking about evidence and claims, and we're also going to talk about another technique that you can use to push your interpretations further. So please, if you have any questions or concerns at this point, don't hesitate to contact me. I really want to work with you in this course to help you succeed. So let me know if there's anything I can do for you. And I'll see you again next week. Enjoy your autumn break. Okay, thanks so much. Bye.